Hello and welcome back. So in this video, um, the first thing I want to do is remove the spam from the console. When, when we play, um, it's putting to the console every time an enemy loses health and every time we gain score. So to, to fix that, go ahead and go into the console and then double click on the spam. And that'll take you to the exact line of that print message. And I'm just going to comment those out. Um, later, if we want them back, we can just delete the comment lines. Um, but having it commented out will prevent it from printing to the console. And then the same thing with this 10. That's the player score. Comment that out. And now if we go back into play mode, um, nothing should go to the console. Yeah, that, that's better. Alright, so now we need to let the player reload. And I also want to print the number of bullets to the screen, so I'm going to do that first. So go to the canvas and go back to the scene view and now I'm not sure if I want it in the bottom right or the top right or the bottom left um, I could also have it floating like a hologram above the weapon um, I think the top right would be the most preferable so let's go ahead and take this high score duplicate and drag that over and now I want it to align right and I'm just gonna change this to a 12 now um, I might I might want something like this where I have like I'll, I'll, I'll drag it over a little bit duplicate it and then have a slash and then another 12. Uh, let's see how that looks. That's not bad. Um, I want to make sure I change the anchoring on all three of those to the top right. I think that looks pretty good. Alright, and then change this one to text slash um, text underscore current bullets and text underscore max bullets all right so now we we can modify current bullets to go down like that, and then the player knows how many, um, how much ammunition is left in the clip. And I, I don't like how disorganized this is getting, so I'm just going to create an empty game object and call this score, and take the first four and drag them onto that, and the same thing for ammunition. I just want everything to be as organized as possible. Go back into play mode, make sure everything still works. Looks good. And now we need to connect the weapon display to the actual amount of bullets left in the weapon. So I'm going to control that with the weapon script uh, called basic gun. And I could put that here. I think I'm just going to put it in the basic update loop. So I'll just put it right here. And first I need a reference to... Um, I need a reference to both current bullets and max bullets. Public text. And you'll notice that we don't have the text class showing up. And that's because we need to import the UI library using Unity Engine UI. And now we can use the text type. And this will be current bullets and public text max bullets. Like that.
And now, all we need to do to update this display is current bullets dot text. So that's going to access the text field of this text object. And we're going to assign the value of current bullets. Or I mean, sorry. We're going to assign the value of clip remaining dot to string. So this is a number. We're just going to convert it to a text value and then assign that to this text object. Hit save. And something breaks. Oh, that's because we have to go into sci-fi rifle and make sure we correctly assign these fields. So we need current bullets here and max bullets here. Go into play mode, and this should change from a 9 to a 12, and it did. And now you can see it goes down as we fire until we reach zero. Alright. So, now we need to let the player reload. I think I'm going to put that in the next video. So, thank you guys for watching, and tune in next time for player reloading.